Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Hey! I think we might need to do a little bit better than that. Can I have a cheer again, please? <laughs> there we go. I know the sun isn't quite shiny yet, but I'm, I'm told it's definitely coming out later. Um, so, if you don't know me, I'm Emily Sporrell. I'm the Merseyside Police and Crime Commissioner. Really, really pleased to be able to join you all here today. Um, attending Pride is one of the best things I get to do within my calendar. Not just because it's that opportunity for us to celebrate our diversity, celebrate our inclusivity, and just what we have to offer in Merseyside and the diversity that we have within our community. But actually, Pride is a really, really important opportunity for us to talk about how much more we still have to do. Some of you will have been to um, Liverpool Pride a couple of weeks ago. Anybody go to Liverpool Pride last week? Yeah. Yay! And that was such a brilliant, vibrant event where we were standing in solidarity, we were celebrating the community, and we were talking about how much uh, progress we've made and how much more we want to do. But actually, the response that we saw on social media afterwards was really disappointing and quite sobering. And it was a really strong reminder as to how much we still have to do to challenge that hate, to speak out against the bigots and the people who seek to deny the existence of the LGBT plus community. So, a really, really welcome event like this. I think as well it's great that we have these local pride because actually it's important that we say to people that our LGBT community is welcome in every part of society, no matter where you are, across the region, you should be free to live your life, be who you want to be and thrive and not face any persecution or hate for who you are. And that's why these local events are so important as well. So pride began as a protest and it continues to be a protest today, um, providing all of us with that opportunity to speak out against hate, discrimination and prejudice. And we know sadly that too many LGBT plus people still face huge levels of abuse and violence simply for being who they are. And we've also seen some deeply uh, worrying and truly regretted steps around the world against LGBT rights. And so again, this is why the visibility of this community and a reminder as to what we are fighting for, this is why these events are so important. And I really hope that by, more, by gathering here today and by standing shoulder to shoulder with our LGBT community, we help give people the confidence to know, certainly from a police perspective, if they have been subjected to abuse, if you have faced any level of persecution, you can speak out, because you will be listened to and you will be supported. I'm really glad that we've got um, support from our Merseyside like Police Officers today and there's going to be more coming um, throughout the day. It is really important that you get that message that Merseyside Police is absolutely committed to standing against hate and they will not accept it in any form. So please, if you have concerns, please do report them because they will take it very, very seriously. So finally, just to say, I'm really proud that we are a region um, that celebrates who we are, that we're a region where you are free to be who you want to be and love whoever you want to love. And today is really an opportunity for us to say that we will be showing the world that love will always overcome hate. So thank you so much for coming today and I hope you have a really fantastic time.